Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Rack Stand Up Paddleboard and Surfboard Pads with tie downs. Part number RRR WP04. The Rhino Rack Pads let you safely transport your stand up paddleboard or surfboard on the roof of your vehicle. The EVA foam pads simply wrap around your crossbars and secure with hook and loop fasteners. It includes two tie downs with rubber coated cam buckles to help secure your gear to your roof rack and it won't scratch the finish. The pads themselves are made from a UV resistant polyester canvas. They measure 27 and a half inches by two inches up from the top of the bar. So you can ensure they're going to have excellent padding from the roof rack to the paddleboard. These will fit round, square, elliptical, and arrow bars. Now that we've gone over some of the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now when you get your Rhino Rack foam pads, it's going to come in a nice storage bag, and the storage bag is included. You've got a hook and loop fastener here that's keeping everything contained. It's going to come with two pads and two straps. So to get this installed, we can take our pad. I've already got the rear one installed, as you can see up here. Let's go ahead and do the front one together. So the foam pad itself has flaps on the other side, secured by hook and loop. So let's go ahead and undo that. Once we've got it open up, we'll have both flaps out like this, to set it right on top of our roof. We're gonna bring the flaps underneath and then bring the other side around overlapping. So we'll just work our way down, making sure that it's nice and secure. It's a fairly simple installation, and as you can see, we've got it. Now that we've got both pads installed, let's go ahead and load up a stand-up paddleboard. So we'll bring the board up. We're gonna scoot it along the pads, get it nice and centered up, making sure that the whole board is on the pad. That way, when you go to tie it down, it's got a nice secure fit. Also wanna make sure that the board is not hanging off the end of the vehicle. Now we can go ahead and grab our included Rhino Rack straps. I just wanna point out real quick, they've got a nice hook and loop strap here to help tidy up the strap when it's not in use. So let's set one aside for now and let's strap down our paddleboard. So we'll go ahead and undo our hook and loop. We'll unwind the strap. I'm gonna set the rubber cam buckle in right on top of my paddleboard and throw the strap over. Okay, so we'll come over to the other side. We'll grab our strap. We're just gonna put it underneath the crossbar. Make sure we keep it as close to the paddleboard as possible as you see here. I'm gonna toss it right back over. Then over here, same thing, go right underneath the crossbar, keeping it as close to the paddleboard as possible. I'll grab the strap, I'm gonna come up through the cam buckle, and then I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. Then I'll grab my excess strap, I'm gonna tidy it up, grab my hook and loop strap, and bunch that together just like that. Now we can grab our second strap and secure the back portion of our board. For excessively long paddle boards, it's recommended that you tie down the front and rear ends. Rhino Rack makes straps for this purpose, which is part number RRRBAS. And that'll do it for the Rhino Rack stand up paddle board and surfboard pads with tie downs, part number RRRWP04.